Okay, there's going to be a little bit of a change. I'm going to resort more on video analysis, which I think is a lot more informative than just a summary with a chart. It's very hard to describe like the white waves, the blue waves, uh, but I think the video analysis is going to be a lot more informative and better outlined to uh, convey the information. So. Uh, I will do, be posting the video without the summary because it just takes too much time. Um, but here we go for Ethereum. It, it's very interesting in that it, if we go back in time a bit, escaped out of this. But I want to show you what happened here. There was a massive triangle, A, B, C, D, E, and it broke out. And this was the wave one. And look how it came back down. It retraced 50% or so, maybe almost between 0.618 and 0.5 in the Fib zone. And, and that has to happen because you can't just, wave one cannot just go straight up and never look back. Uh, the correction is a requisite after five wave impulse. And this had one, two, three, four, and five. And here you go. You got the correction right here. Now, we have a very similar thing. We have five waves up. One, two, three, four, five. And we're looking at an A, B, C down. So the question is, Is this, could this be done? Could this whole correction be already A, B, C, where the C is, C is right here instead of down here? Yes, there is a scenario for that. However, um, to see that better, let's go to the short-term Ethereum chart right here. Good. So we have this downward wedge, we, which broke out, and then we're looking at the A1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for C. Absolutely. And if that's the case, <clears throat> so far it looks like it. It looks like maybe we could potentially get an impulse wave looking like this. We have wave one, two, we need to have three, four, and five. We should go back to 765 if this is correct, if the correction is done here. Again, the only thing that bothers me, I don't mind it, but it's a bit too quick and too, sh too shallow of a, of a um, decline. But that's okay, there's a pretty good monster cluster of support right here also. I was thinking maybe this cluster of support should hold it for wave C, which is why I put it down here. <clears throat> and that's equal to 0 0.618, pretty much, a little bit past it. So we have two scenarios. We're looking at, okay, is ABC done here? And we're going to look at prices going up. Or are we going to still wait for this, for a, a lower low, for the price of Ethereum to go to maybe in the 500s or so? I don't know which way, in which direction it's going to take. But I do know this, that this has got a very good probability of being purple one, the five waves are or subwaves of a higher degree wave one, shown in purple. The ABC is uh, uh, the three wave sequence to make up the subwaves of wave two. What comes after wave two? Three. And that wave three will come whether the C is here or C is here. So is now the time to be panicking and selling? I don't think so. I think it's very good to be aware that we are on a wave one and now on two and three is on deck. So I hope this is helpful and informative. And let's see. Let's see if this blue scenario actually happens in the next few days. Thank you and have a wonderful day.